Well, hi, everybody. Eddie Clinton with you at Jones Stadium, and you never have to worry about an empty seat when the University of Texas comes to town, do you? 50,000-plus, the largest crowd since 1983 on hand to see Tech and the Longhorns. Tech won the toss they elected to defer. UT took the kickoff. They brought it out to the 22. Chris Kenny with the tackle. He had a great game. Peter Gardere on second and six to Philip Brown from Commerce, Texas, and he gains 25. Three plays later, third and four from the 43. Gardere in the shotgun. He hands off to Brown, and Brown up the middle for 18 before he's knocked down by Quincy White. First and 10 from the 25. Curtis Jackson from Plano. Over the left side, he gains nine. Five plays later. Walker on the sweep, and he's going to lose three. Ben Kirkpatrick heading up the group to stop him. Two plays later, Texas with the field goal. 31-yard try is good. That was a 65-yard drive and 11 plays. Texas three and the Raiders nothing. Bad luck. The beginning of the ball game for Texas Tech. The Longhorn kickoff bounced off several men and the Longhorns recover. Let's move to second and five from the 33. Gardier wants to pass. Finds Brown again, and he gains nine. Make it first and 10 from the 24. Brown up the middle. He smacked hard. Going to be knocked down there for a loss of six. Jackson and Chris Ory on the uh, tackle. Longhorns have to go for the field goal. 36-yard try, and it is no good. So Texas Tech gets the football on offense for the first time. First and 10. The Bammer gains six. Two plays later, third and one. Morris gets the call, couple of nice moves, and he picks up 20. Two plays later, second and 10 from the 49. Jason Clemens starting his first game as a quarterback for the Red Raiders. Throws to Bam Morris, and he gains 15. First and 10 from the 36. Morris on the draw play. He's run out of bounds. Woo, might have been a late hit. He is hurt, had to leave the game momentarily. Jason Clemens, who connected on 25 of 52 attempts, 52 attempts, the most in tech history, if you can believe that, connecting with Lloyd Hill, good for a gain of 20. Three plays later, second and goal. The Bammer gains eight down to the one. Make it third and goal now from the UT1. Byron Miles from Irving with the touchdown. And Texas Tech is on the board answering Texas. John Davis with the extra point, 80-yard drive, 10 plays, Tech 7, Texas 3. Following the kickoff, let's move to first and 10 from the 20. Gardere passes to Duke, good for a gain of 7. Ben Kirkpatrick on the tackle, second and 3 from the 27. Adrian Walker, 152 yards on the day, picks up 21. Four plays later, second and 7 from the 38. Gardere to Bearden, good. Donnie Brooks tackle, gain of 10. Into the first quarter, Texas Tech seven and UT three. Let's go four plays later into the drive. Third and nine, Gardere in trouble. He's sacked by Sean Jackson for a loss of nine. UT has to settle for a field goal try. It is good. 58 yard drive, 12 plays. Texas Tech seven, Texas six. Following the kickoff, first and 10 from the 20. The Bammer gets the call. He fumbles. The ball is picked up by Bustamani. He returns it 13 yards, touchdown. So two big plays. UT has them both, and they also have the lead, 13 to 7. On the next possession, Clemens passing to Hill. Gain of nine down the right sideline. Four plays later, second and 10 from the 33. Classical Freeman from Fort Worth. Along the right side, takes a shot, gains eight. Make it third and two. Freeman, left side, trying to get that two yards for the first down. He's repelled. That brings on Robert King, who had a brilliant day putting the football. Here he hits a 55-yard non-iron. Look at this. Jumps straight up in the air. Brady Field catches it, and the Longhorns are deep in their own territory from the four. Holmes carries. He's knocked down by Jackson, loss of one. Second and 11 from the three. Gardair wants to throw, complete to Neal. Slips a tackle, gains 12. First and 10 from the 15, Gardair on the keeper. 
rolling left side. He's going to gain 11 before Donnie Brooks knocks him out of bounds. Eventually, four plays later, the drive stalls. McClanahan has to punt, 54-yard punt. Tracy Saul has it. He's up the far sideline, the 30, 35, 44. He's run out of bounds. Illegal block brings it all back, however. Let's go to third and 10 from the 16. Clemens to Scott Ayler, good for a gain of 15. Two plays later, second and nine. Clemens wants to throw. Screen pass, Classical Freeman. He gains seven. Third and two from the 39. Freeman in for the Bammer, goes right. He's hit, ball's free. Guess what, UT recovers. Six minutes, 37 seconds left in the half. Second and 12 now from the 40. Guard air scrambles. He's in trouble. He's going to be finally knocked down behind the line. Loss of four. Third and 16 from the 44. Gardair wants to throw. Ball is intercepted by Marcus Coleman. He fumbles. UT retains possession. Three big plays. UT has all three. Let's go to second and seven. Brown up the middle. Gain of six. Third and one from the 31. Walker the call. No gain. Sean Banks with the tackle. Fourth and one from the 31, UT, another field goal try. It is good. Texas moves their lead to 16. Texas Tech 7, 343 left in the first half. Following the kickoff, first and 10 from the 20. Clements, another screen pass to the Bammer. He goes along the left side, he gains six. Two plays later, third and four from the 26. Clements wants to throw, finds Bruce Hill. He has the ball, 15 yard gain. First and 10 now from the 41. Clements wants to throw. Honeycutt, gain of 19 for Mike Honeycutt. Three passes, three different receivers. Second and 10 now from the 40. Again, Clemens throws. There's Lloyd Hill. He has the ball good for a gain of 11. Drive stalls, four plays later. John Davis, the longest field goal of his Tech career, 156. Texas Tech moves within six at 16 to 10. John Davis with the kickoff, high and a little bit short. Mike Adams with the uh, football. He brings it out 25 yards. First and 10 from the 25. Gardner in the shotgun. He wants to scramble. Ben Kirkpatrick with the ankle tackle. Loss of one. Second and 11 from the 24. Gardner wants to throw. There's Brown. He has him. Gain of eight. Three plays later. First and five from the UT 42. Gardner wants to throw. Now he tucks it. Now he scrambles. Then he lets the ball go. It's complete. Going to be good for a gain of 22 before Donnie Brooks knocks Neal out of bounds. First and 10, 36-yard line. Gardere to Brown. Short pass, and Brown takes it for a gain of 20 before he's pushed out of bounds by Tracy Saul. First and 10 now. Gardere, shotgun, handoff, Brown up the middle. Touchdown! That's a backbreaker. UT comes back. At the half, it is Texas Tech trailing 22 to 10. In the second half, Texas Tech trying to bounce back. UT comes up with the football first. This is Gardere on the keeper. Number 47, the senior, Ben Kirkpatrick, knocks him down after a gain of one. Third and seven from the 23. Gardere, shotgun pass to McLemore. Gain of six, and UT has to punt the football. McClanahan to punt. Puts a toe to it, a good kick of 42 yards. Tracy Saul DP fumbles and falls on it for the Red Raiders. Let's go to second and nine. Clements wants to throw again. Scott Ayler with his second pass of the game. That for a gain of 11. Two plays later. Second and 10 from the 29. Clements throws to Donald Marshall from Grand Prairie, and he gains 12. Drive eventually stalls four plays later. Robert King has to punt. Mike Adams is deep. The ball hits off his foot and goes out of bounds. UT, first and 10 at the 15. Curtis Jackson up the middle. He's knocked down by John Pitts and Ben Kirkpatrick. Two plays later, third and 10. Gardair wants to throw. Ball is intercepted by Chris Kinney. 
He's trying to find some running room and eventually is knocked down after a minus two return. First and 10 Tech, Clements with Daryl Mitchell in motion. Rolls left, wants to throw. Lloyd Hill comes up with the football, big time catch. Three plays later, the drive stalls. John Davis, 38 yard field goal try, high and good. Five yard drive and four plays, 22, 13. UT now, second and eight from the 25. Walker, gonna gain 19 before he is pushed out of bounds. First and 10 from the 44. Gardere, he's in trouble. There's Damon Wickware, loss of 13. Three plays later, the defense has done their job. They force McClanahan again to punt the football. And Tracy Saul is going to let it bounce. And Tech will have it at the 24. Let's go to second and eight from the 27. Clements wants to throw. Daryl Mitchell, good. Close sidelines, good for a gain of nine. Two plays later, third and fourth from the 43. Clements, again looking for number 34. Don Marshall, nice catch, gain of 11. Two plays later, second and nine. Clemens wants to throw deep. Ball is incomplete, but there are the flags pass interference. Two plays later, second and nine from the 30. Clements again throwing deep. Touchdown, Lloyd Hill. Lloyd had 10 catches on the day and three touchdowns. And in the post-game interviews, he said he has to do more. John Davis with the extra point. And so Texas Tech, 75-yard drive, moves back within two at 22 to 20. John Davis puts the ball into play. Michael Adams from the Mid-Cities returns it out to the 26. Let's go to second and 10 from the Texas 26. Adrian Walker is a backbreaker here. Running all over the field, Kirkpatrick in chase. Walker runs away from him. He's inside the 20, the 15, 10, pull down finally at the six yard line. Two plays later, Bill Brown touchdown. So once again, Tech pulls within two and Texas takes it right back down the field, 29 to 20. Later in the ball game now, let's go to fourth quarter action. This is Classical Freeman. He gains six straight up the middle. Second and fourth. Clemens wants to throw. There's Lloyd Hill. He gains 29. Two plays later, second and seven. Clemens. Hill. Touchdown. 51-yard drive. It took four plays, and Texas Tech will not quit. They climb right back into it. John Davis with the extra point. Texas 29. Texas Tech 27, 13, 32 left in the ball game. Second play of UT's next drive. Gardere flips to Brown. He goes along the left side lines and gains 17. Three plays later, second and 13 from the 36. Gardere throws to Adams. Look at this acrobatic catch. Donnie Brooks with good defense there, but Adams brought the ball down on the next play. Phil Brown up the middle. He gains 13 before Mike Lissio and Quincy White can pull him down. Four plays later, fourth and one. Gardere wants to throw, takes it himself. He goes into the end zone. So once again, UT moves down the field and moves out to an eight-point lead. On the following kickoff, it was high and short. And Texas Tech calls for the fair catch by Don Hasley. First and 10 from the 24. Clemens, screen pass to Bruce Hill. He gains six before he's knocked out of bounds. Let's go to third and two from the 32. Clements passing for Mitchell. He has it. He's up the far sideline. Good for 25. Flag goes down, personal foul. Let's go to second and seven from the 25. Reverse. Worlds of trouble there as Mitchell loses one. Fourth and eight from the 26. Davis with the attempt. High and just a short, wide kick that time. So Tech stays there at 37 to 27. Let's go to further action in the fourth quarter. UT with the football. First and 10 at the 21. Brown is knocked down by Jackson and Kirkpatrick for a loss of one. On the next play, Gardere passes to Brown. He has it and picks up 11. Two plays later from the 31. Jackson over the left side. Cuts back right. 
He's going to gain 20 when all is said and done. First and 10 now at the Texas Tech 49 yard line. Crawford up the middle gets by the safety. He's off to the races and going to be pulled down after a gain of 38. First and 10 now at the Tech 11. Gardere keeps himself. It's a sprint down the sideline. He's into the end zone. That was a 79 yard scoring drive. Texas 44. Texas Tech 27 on the kickoff. Hot ground ball to the shortstop. Darrell Mitchell picks it up and returns it out to the 25 yard line. First and 10 from that point. The Bammer gets the call on the draw. He jukes and picks up six. Three plays later on fourth down from the 31. Clemens wants to throw. Don Marshall, nice move. He's going to pick up 14 yards and keep the drive alive. Two plays later, second and 10 from the 45. Clemens to Lloyd Hill. Nice catch, gain of seven. Four plays later, third and 20. Clemens again to Lloyd Hill. Over the middle, makes a nice move, cuts up field and gains 20 before he's pulled down. Three plays later, second and goal. Clemens, quarterback draw, loss of three. That brings up third and goal from the UT7. Clemens throws, Hill catches, third touchdown of the day, but it is too little too late. Texas 44, Texas Tech 33. That's the way the game would finish up, and we would go to the locker room to get these comments. We talked about Monday, the key to winning the game would be to not turn the ball over. Uh, we had four in the first half to not give up the big play. And they had, you know, they had two or three big plays. They really did. They, uh, I guess the, the thing that's amazing is uh, Robert Hoss Forte, in my opinion, the real distinct thing that he's always been able to do is when the other team got the momentum he had a chance he has something about him to come back and get it back from him. and that's what Peter Gardner did today or I say Peter Gardner that's what Texas did today that every time we really had a run going and we got everybody into the game and everything looked like it was going to be working they came back and made the necessary drive and did what they had to do to uh, to get back on the board like you know like it was necessary for them to do but it's a, uh, gosh, it's disappointing to lose those kind of football games. It really is. We, we had a bunch of guys that played hard. Uh, we knew that it was going to be a tough game, and we knew that for us to win, we're going to have to play nearly perfect. We dropped some passes today, which we hadn't done in a long time. We, we had a, uh, you know, we had four turnovers in the game. We, uh, we intercept a pass. We run it back for 10 yards. We fumble it. They get it back. They kick a field goal. I mean, that kind of stuff. Uh, we just, uh, sometimes you can't win for losing. Well, you know, each time you go out, you try to win, and you try to do what it takes to win, and today we just came up a little bit short. It seemed like that you were playing catch-up all day long to the Longhorns. Does that make things more difficult to play in a team of their caliber? Well, you know, they're good, and they're not ever going to give you anything, and you're going to have to, you're going to have to go out and, and be heads up and, and battle them the whole time, and when they get a lead, they're, they're even tougher than what they are, you know, normally. And... We jumped on them early after our first drive, and then we made a mistake, and they jumped on top, and they were they were on top ever since. I think we made a few mistakes on offense, and you know, we had a couple, a lot of cost, costly turnovers. On you know, we didn't take care of the ball, and against against a team like Texas, with a real good offense like that, you know, you just can't afford to go out and give them the ball over and over again, and expect the defense to hold them every time. Defense played ahead of a game, a heck of a game. This today and we just put them in a in a lot of bad positions sometimes. Seemed like the Red Raiders were playing catch up all day long. You know, they you draw within close and then they'd come right back and score on a long drive. Uh, it had to hurt the momentum a little bit. How did that uh, work against you? Oh yeah, you know, when we got those uh, chances we were two points behind and you know, they they'd go down the score and then we get two points behind again. 
and you know, late in the ball game, they just went up um, by 10 on us. But you know, we knew that if we played mistake, mistake-free football, which we showed, that they couldn't stop the offense. You know, as long as we didn't turn over the ball, as long as we executed what Coach Wonder called, you know, there there was no stopping us. But you know, like I said, we had some turnovers and some plays that we didn't execute as well as we should have. And against a team like Texas, you know, you're bound to lose the game if you do uh, things like that. You know, I thought we had a chance, you know, you know, throughout the whole game, and um, they just came out on top. They um, they played a good game. We played a okay game. We didn't play up to par, and you know, we didn't come out with the win. Well, your second game in a row, and you get six on the board, uh, a one-yard run. Uh, tell us about that play. Well, that play um, it was 30 base, goal line 30 base, and um, pretty simple. You know, the line did a great job, you know, down there, and they just blew everybody off the line, and, and I just could have walked in, but I added a, another dimension by jumping, you know, but anybody could have did it. They didn't do anything different, you know. Everything that we practiced on, they did, you know. They just out-executed us, you know. They had a... The big play, especially in the first half when we first came out, they were making the big plays, and we were holding them down uh, to no touchdowns, but they just kicked the field goal on. So, you know, we thought we were doing you know, doing pretty good. They just break, uh, break the big plays, and that, that hurt us, uh, you know, a lot. They are uh, Adrian Walker, you know, uh, quite a, a real good running back for Texas today. Uh, broke some big ones despite having a slight case of turf toe. Uh, you know, the rushing offense was real potent this afternoon. What were your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, as far as Adrian Walker, you know, he is he's a great back. You know, but you have to um, consider that all their backs are good. You know, they're all capable of doing the same thing. You know, and uh, like when I was trying to cover them, you know, they're fast. They're real fast, and so you know, you can't you can't have stuff when you're coming to them. And um, you know, defensively, we I, I'm 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 proud of our team. You know, because we you know we played a good game. We didn't uh, um, just have so many mental breakdowns that just kill us, but. You know, it, this loss was just something, you know, of us, you know, something we could have prevented. We just would have played, you know, played a little harder. There was huge concern about the quarterback because Robert Hall was out of the ball game and Jason Clements played, and, and he does pretty well. Talk a little bit about how Jason Clements did this ball game. Uh, he played a fabulous game. You know, I got to take my hat off to him because he came in this game, you know, people, you know, weren't too sure about if he could come in and play against a team like Texas. And, you know, he came in and did a great job. I got to take my hat off to him. 25 of 52 throwing, and 10 of his completions go to you and three touchdowns. Talk a little bit about your day as well. Uh, I think I did all right, but uh, you, know, you can't really uh, go with me because you know, there's other guys out there that can play too, and you know, I think you know, we've got to come back next week and try to you know, do some better things. Well, this for a wide receiver is hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's tough to, to get off the line against the Longhorns. Yeah, because uh, they play that press man, and you know, they kind of make it difficult for you to uh, get off the line. But once you get off the line, it's, you, know, you either got a touchdown or you got a, a big play. You know, Gardier played great today. Um, you know, they brought in a lot of different backs and, uh, you know, kept them fresh and, and they did a great job. And, uh, you know, they did, they, you got to give them a lot of credit. They, they played well today and, and uh, they made the big plays when they had to. They lead 22 10 at halftime and you come out and stop them on their first three possessions of the third quarter. Looks like the momentum is about to shift. And then after the Red Raiders have scored, Adrian Walker makes that long 70 yard run. That that seems to be a key play in the Longhorn surge. Yeah, that uh, that was a key play. Um, you know, our offense had gotten some momentum for us and scored. And, uh, you know, we just weren't able, defense wasn't able to keep the momentum on our side. Uh, we gave up the big play. And, uh, you know, the, the, I think that was a big factor in the game, you know, that we couldn't keep the, keep the momentum on our side. The offense would get it, and and then, uh, you know, we'd let them have it back. So, uh, you know, I think that hurt us in the, in the second half. You know, our game plan all week was to make them take the ball and drive it on us because we knew that if we could make them do that, that eventually that, uh, you know, we could stop them. Uh, I think the big difference in the ball game is they out big played us. They had a lot of big plays, and uh, when you give up big plays like that, you know, and, and they get the ball down on your end of the field, uh, they're good enough offense that they can put the ball in. You look at a game full of uh, unusual plays. Uh, th their second, their kickoff after their opening field goal where it hits an up man and they recover. Marcus intercepts a pass, fumbles it back to him. It, it seems like all of the breaks were going their way. Yeah, I think that I think that they got the majority of the breaks. We got a few breaks, and uh, but they got more breaks than we did. And when you get breaks and when you get big plays, you you win ball games, and and that's what they did to us.